Now we're going to take a look at how we cut a mirrored vignette. When you come to download your vignettes from our website, carnationcrafts.co.uk, you will find within the same file both your standard vignette, which is your One Direction with the white on the back, as you've seen in the previous video, and our mirrored version. The mirrored version means when we come to cut, you'll have the same colour on the front as well as on the back of the die cut, which means if you're using these on acetate or over the edge of cards, you're not going to see any of that white layer. Or you can use them uh, independently from one another and have the die cuts facing in opposite ways as well. When you print, again, we recommend printing on your pro printing paper. If you are struggling to see which side to print onto, remember you need to print on the smooth side. You can use a marker and just make a little line somewhere on the paper, which is not going to be uh, sort of affected by the printing. And you'll find a smooth side produces a much smoother pen line, whereas on the reverse, it's much rougher. You'll feel it's rougher on the pen as well. So that's just a little tip to see which side is the smoothest, okay? When we print again, the same as what we said with the standard vignettes, you print uh, on your highest quality settings, uh, matte photo paper if you're using your pro printing paper, and also we recommend for your mirrored vignettes 120 GSM, okay, because when we fold it in half, it's going to double that weight. Your mirrored vignettes have a black line down the centre of the design that shows you where to fold. It's not necessarily down the centre of the page, so it's really key we fold along that line. To help us fold, what we do is we can cut onto the line with a sharp pair of fine scissors, just about an inch or so at the bottom. And we turn our paper around and again, cut about an inch or so into the line, okay? The reason for that cutting is when we come to fold, it's gonna give us that guideline really easily. The paper's automatically gonna fold at that point of the cut, okay? So you just squeeze, onto the line and then across okay to make sure we are folding exactly on that black line it's this black line that ensures everything cuts perfectly okay at this point you can choose once we've folded the paper you can choose if you want the back of your die cut to stick to the front at this stage, open it up and add a little bit of adhesive. Now, something like a spray adhesive would be perfect for this. Then just close it and smooth it down, okay? I'm gonna leave them free because I want the poppies to face in two directions and I can show you this when we come to finish cutting. Once again, we lay our die over the top like so. And as you saw in the standard vignette cutting video, we then just hold our die in place using some low tack tape or is repositional tape. We're aligning it again so you get that bleed line around the edge. As we've mentioned, that ensures edge to edge color, but it also helps you place your die evenly and centrally on the design itself. Now we're sticking that down and that's just to hold the die in place as it goes through the die cutting machine to ensure it doesn't sort of wiggle about and make sure it cuts evenly. And once again, we bring in our cutting plate. So just refer to your manufacturer's guide for this particular type of die. Just flipping that over. And because we're using something with fine lines and things like that, again, we are going to use our cut tidy as that extra little bit of pressure to squeeze that paper down into the die cut, into the machine, that little sandwich goes. That's going to cut through and as we've mentioned if you did stick your sides together it will give you um, the colour on the reverse. I've left it open so you can see uh, you get the die in two directions, the die cut in two directions. So that's cut through. We're just going to take away our plate and our cut tidy and just as we did before we're just going to gently take the die away from the magnetic shim and then just lift the low tack tape as well okay so just lifting that die out of the paper now the low tack tape we say it's low tack but it's often quite sticky when it's been through the machine so just gently ease that away and same with the smaller die cut there as well 
So once again, we can take our pokey tool and just release like so. And there you have all of the cut line detail on the smaller die. But this time around, you also have all of that colour on the reverse of the image as well. So this is great if you want to build lots of decoupage layers as well. You're not going to have any um, white areas showing on the die cut. Let's just release the larger poppy too. And remember, we haven't stuck these two sides together. So what we can do at this stage is gently peel away the two sides of the paper. It's very fine on the stem, so just be gentle when you come to peel these away, like so. And now that gives you the poppy in two directions. Obviously, the cut that has the die pressing into it gives you more of an embossed line detailing than what the reverse does, but you can go over this with a ball tool. Again, add shape and dimension to give that a really pretty look as well. That's how we cut our mirrored vignette.